Well, I'm sitting here holding an ER25 nut, clamping nut for ER25 collets. And I'm sitting here going, well, I'm going to make a um, ER25 collet holder. Here's the nut for it because I don't think I'm up to making these things. And I'm pretty sure I'm not up to making these things. But uh, the mating part to this has mating threads and these threads are 1.5 millimeter pitch well okay uh, how am i going to do that because i have to use the lathe i've got and there it is a classic nine inch workshop lathe south bend made in about 1950 something early 50s oh. about the same age as me i think i'm a little older but I think it's in better shape. So I got to do it on that lathe, which is an English lathe, which has had English, or what do you say, imperial threads, English threads. Anyway, inch threads, quick change gearbox, eight TPI lead screw. I got to do it on that. So I have to do a little investigating on how to do that. Hi. Um, well, my project these days is to try and get my 9-inch uh, South Bend Model A to cut uh, metric gears, or metric gears, metric teeth, and metric threads. Um, and I need a, some gear, uh, transposing gears, changing interpreting gears to make it do that. Um, I came across the most useful piece of stuff on the internet that I've ever seen. It's from uh, uh, Brett Nordgren, and he must be a very, very bright fellow. This was prepared in March, 20, March 29th of 2005. And um, he uh, went through and figured out for my lathe, which is a Model A, that's the quick change gearbox, uh, how to do uh, metric threads on it with um, a variety of change gears. And um, he's, uh, I'll put his um, um, internet address uh, down below, and um, you can get a copy of this too by pulling it off there, which is exactly what I did. Um, also, this this uh, work was based on some work that was done by Guy, Guy Cadron, uh, who published a similar spreadsheet uh, several years ago. And I think I've got a copy of that as well, but I can't for the life of me figure out where in the world I got it. Uh, I'll, if I can find... Uh, find where I got it, I'll go back into it, but he goes into an elaborate detail about, about uh, all possibilities on that particular lathe, and I'm truly indebted to these folks for working this out. Um, I'm only going to cut a, a few um, 1.5 millimeter pitches, uh, but it'll make the lathe a whole lot more useful. I won't be uh, timid about taking on any projects that might involve uh, metric threads. Anyway, again, his name's Brett Nordgren, and uh, his uh, work is um, similar to stuff put out by Guy Cadron. So, on with the, what I've got here.
Okay, I've uh, set up my metric transposing gear on my 9 inch south bend. Um, up on the stud gear up there, that's the gear with the writing on it. That is a 42 tooth gear that I got with a lathe, evidently for cutting 27 TPI English threads. But it also works uh, with metric threads. I'll show you a chart. Uh, then the black gear set, the transposing set, is my metrics, and they're 127 and 100. And then the lead screw gear, the, the shaft that goes into the quick change gearbox, that gear is a 56, and that's stock with the lathe. So it runs uh, smooth as can be. I don't know how I'll show you uh, with only one hand, but anyway, it runs very smoothly, quiet, and uh, produces 1.5 millimeters pitch thread um, very accurately. So I'm pretty pleased so far. Well, okay, now, uh, so I think I figured out a way. I've got the, I won't run this with the motor on, and I won't run this in back gear, uh, so that you'll just hear this mesh. Okay, there's the microphone right there. No clunk, no pulsing, no nothing. So I think that gear is going to be pretty successful on that lathe. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Okay. Okay, there's my uh, lathe running. It's in uh, back gear. And things appear to run pretty smooth. Okay, I'm working on my first metric threads with this new gear setup. I'm cutting, I don't know if you can see this, a millimeter and a half pitch thread. Someday I'll learn how to use this. Uh, maybe you can see that that's a millimeter and a half. Anyway, that's a millimeter and a half. And it It's the threads, so I must be cutting a millimeter and a half. And I'm trying a technique for cutting up to the shoulder on uh, odd pitch threads by uh, using the half nuts to disengage. Normally this wouldn't be good practice on metric threads, but uh, I think this will work. What I have here is a stop for my retraction point. This is a little clamp right here. And um, on the threading dial, I will engage at one. So I know where I am on the lathe, or the lathe knows where it is. And I should be able to get back to that point even if I um, unhook the half nuts. So we're going to try that. So wish me luck. Okay, here we go. It's engaged now. Picking up the threads just fine. And when I get to that shoulder, I'm going to drop the half nut, disengage. Okay, I just disengaged. Turning off the lathe, retracting half a turn. And then I'm going to crank back to here where the lathe started. Um, then I'm going to run the lathe in reverse and get the um, uh, threading dial back to where I can engage again and uh, hope I got this all right. So I'll put on another five on the thread. I'll reverse. Now this 
run this back. I know this takes some time, uh, but time's not important to us amateurs, right? Okay, I'm past the one. Now I'll put the lathe in forward again and pick up that point right there at one at this point here and it shouldn't uh, all line up with the threads again. Uh, wish me luck. Uh, got a bad start on this motor. One more time. Picked it right up again. So I should be able to cut up the shoulders even on this um, English lead screw lathe uh, cutting metric threads. Hey, I'd say that was successful. Great. Again, back it up, touch the stop, run it in reverse till you get back to where your thread was. I don't have a brake on this lathe, so it coasts down, um, so it's hard to stop it real quick. And I guess I could hand turn it through and that would speed it up, but um, it doesn't seem quite right. Now let's see if it'll forward again. I forgot to put the feet on, I was talking. I think I could probably learn to do that pretty quick. Okay. Hey, it uh, cuts metric threads. I can disengage the half nuts, which means I can cut up to shoulders, even without a break on the lathe. Maybe if I put on a um, variable frequency drive and engage the braking system on that I could I could get this better or even better than that put a Meeks clutch on it for like on a hard inch for uh, dog clutching left and right on doing threading so uh, we'll see how all that goes thanks for watching